What's up guys? I'm back with another video. It's Venice Brown Skin. So in this video, I'm working with you nice hair. They sent me a bomb 14 inch bob. This bob already came colored like this. Yeah, it's, it's called like brown with highlights or something like that. I'm gonna leave all the like information in the description. But they sent me this bomb bob. When I tell you this bob is silky and like the cut on it is so sharp, I didn't have to do nothing. For real, I don't do nothing. I mean, you can go in there and like pluck the hairline a little bit. That's I, I recommend that. But I was like, for real, this already cute. Let me just put a little style in it and be on the go. Anyway, I was in the beauty supply store spending money I shouldn't have, and I came across this tint lace spray. This tint lace spray, I've been seeing companies coming out with this spray, and I wanted some. And I was really trying to get on that on um, that air. I mean, the um, leg air air spray or whatever but that jake is always sold out so i was in my beauty supply store and girl even came out with a hairspray so i got the brown tinted hairspray and i sprayed the lace and let me tell you that's gonna be your best friend because i hate doing all that shit on my stocking cap i hate doing all that shit on my lace especially if you a girl like me don't really be feeling like bleaching your knots like it comes in handy i'm not gonna cap so for this combination of gel that we're gonna use for our hair in our lace to stick down we're gonna use the black got to be gel and i finally got my yellow can of freeze price so that's what we use we just blow dry a little bit so it can get a little tacky and um you want to place the lace where you want it now i didn't cut my lace before placing the lace down i don't know why i didn't do that but i guess i'm gonna just freeze it in place and then <laughs> cut the extra lace later so as you can see the hairline of this wig is so bomb like i said i didn't pluck anything i didn't pluck anything the parting is bomb as well so it's a 13 times 6 lace. Love 13 times 6 is my favorite. Oh my god. 13 times 6. Look at these highlights on the front. It's just so pretty in detail. Like, I really love this wig. It's very full. I believe it's 150 density as well. And I recommend it. I do. Period. Point blank. Especially for the summer. It's bomb to have for the summer. And these colors is fleet. Like, I wouldn't, like, go and color my wig myself like this. But they got it already done because it's so much work. Like, to have an even brown and then go in and have even highlights. It's already done. So, I recommend that. Because, girl, I'm an Aries. I'm impatient. So, I'm going to be impatient for that shit. Like, I, I got to find stuff to occupy me while I'm bleaching or doing all that extra shit because I'll, I'll get bored. I got a short attention span. Anyway, so we cutting the lace. We cutting the little ear part so we can get this to lay real flat when it's drying because you want to make sure that that's, that's laying flat. And if the lace is going over your ear, that part not going to lay down flat when everything else is drying. You feel me? So go ahead and cut that off. That's what we're doing. And then we're going to go back in with our blow dryer and blow dry, blow dry the lace into place with our got to be free spray. I love got to be free spray. Even if you don't have gel for your lace, you can stick your lace down with just the freeze spray. If you don't have anything in your goddamn bathroom cabinet for your lace frontals, get got to be freeze spray. <laughs> That's all you're going to need. That or some spritz. Spritz dry pretty dry pretty um hard and it also can leave um residue and the moment you sweat it lift like the moment you sweat while your follicles still thinking about sweat it's gonna lift type shit so for real i recommend free spray free spray lift a little bit too but it's still got the, the formula formula or something in it and it stick back down like if you got a scarf on here you can put the scarf on your lace and it'll dry and your lace will still be in place I like freeze spray. You so for the lace cutting, in, I personally like to down, do like the little and up and down, down zigzag. Don't cut this extra like raunchy thing because if you do a straight cut, you will be able to tell. And um, I like using my scissors versus the eyebrow shape because I be about to slice my forehead. I be having a little cuts on my forehead. You can really fuck around, cut off your um, edges, like shape a little bit of your eyebrow. I did that before. You gotta be careful. Look for real, but my scissors. I'm scissors hands. That's what my mom used to come out to kids. I used to love some scissors. I know how to work them babies, okay? So you do a little zigzag cut and get the va uh, lace to look invisible. Don't need base lace, whatever. Um, and yeah, you just want to do that on both ends, both sides. Now you might have some extra got to be uh spray residue on your forehead because you ain't cut the lace beforehand. You're just gonna go ahead and clean that up with an alcohol wipe. But um, if your lace tends to lift in certain areas, like I didn't dry my fort, I didn't do my forehead tight enough. You want to go back in with some Gatsby spray while the solution's still on your forehead and freeze it back down. 
So that's what you want to do to melt the lace in that process. But for cutting, I recommend zigzag cuts. Now for baby hair, I'm just doing some reckless um, here and there type type stuff. Now on this wig, the hairline has these two peaks where I grabbed the baby hair from. And I think it would just be perfect if baby hair was right there. Like you know how you can just envision, envision a certain style? That's what I was going for. So I'm cutting my baby hairs in these areas and then I'm going on to my sideburns. And I usually cut medium hairs there because I like to do the ear tuck, you know, have messy hairs hanging i like that kind of stuff that's why i don't be going too crazy my baby hairs no more so don't comment for me in the comments I don't got time. anyway so for my solution for my baby hairs that works best for me i use mousse and got to be mixed on my hand as you can see because the got to be helps get the mousse tacky and while you're applying it the mousse still like grips the hair the way it's supposed to and style it the way it's supposed to but it also dries it in place which like seals the lace from above girl i don't know it's some kind of scientific magic i done cooked up in my head and it works so if you want my little tip or sneak peek secret do that for real i mean you could slay your late um slay your edges like i don't be slaying my edges like that no more but you could really slay your edges and do this little trick with the mousse and got me spray and your jet will be like intact like my legs don't be moving for like three four days and i use the basic got to be gel and spray so that's just a recommendation i'm throwing out there as you can see this lace looks almost invisible it's really um clear and transparent and i really like that about this lace you can't see the knots um from the root and i appreciate that so i don't know if this is an invisible lace or not anyway girl check out these streaks check out that blonde it's bomb okay like i said i wouldn't do this myself but it's cute it come already done as you can see the hair is silky it's like bomb silky bouncy shiny like i don't know what kind of hair this is but it's bomb like it's the bomb i'm gonna have all the details in the description below so if you're interested make sure you check that out this is the hair after i dry down the edges and i put in a little ponytail i didn't clip the back in the back of my head so that's why it's looking a little long like that don't judge me but yeah i went and i put my hair in a little regular ponytail for the day put some clips in it and I was cute. I was real cute. As you can see, this hair is cut like perfectly. Y'all can see all of this. It's a real long and silky in front. It's the bomb. I definitely recommend this wig if you're interested. Check it out. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all enjoy the last bit of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you love me. And I'll be back with another video soon.